are in the streets of Merida here in Mexico and we're heading to a park so we can show you what it's like. Plaza Grande is where we're headed. Yes, so I f***ed up. Natalie's, Natalie's still a newbie in the YouTube game. Yeah. Okay. And it's mostly uh, been me filming everything. I didn't film some sick content for you guys. We talked to some local anyways. He uh, came up to us because we're both giants. And he recommended many places to go visit. So we're actually changing our plan because we're gonna head to some church that was on the way to the park. But it turns out it's closed until 5 p.m. So we're gonna head to Grande Mercado. Grande Mercado de Maya, which is a Mayan shopping center. People are much nicer to you when you know a little bit of Spanish here yeah, yeah. And on all of Latin America. Like my Spanish is awful. He said his Spanish was good. You, like I could have a small, a small was, conversation. He was talking slower yeah. so it was easier to yeah. understand. And he spoke English too, but he was yeah. like entertaining me by attempting to speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he respected it. <laughs> yeah. Robert almost got hit by a bus. By, by this bus. <laughs> Don't walk on the street. Yeah, no. Always walk on the sidewalk. Don't walk like me on the street. Don't be a bean like Mr. Robert back there. Anyways, so he said this mercado is for the Mayan cultures and it's apparently all traditional, uh, very authentic. And it's not for gringos, only for Polish people and Czech people. Yeah. <laughs> Because he was like, oh, where are you from? We're like, oh, we're from Canada. He's like, no, you can't be. You don't yeah, look yeah. Canadian. Yeah. He's like, you're too tall, too. <laughs> yeah, he said we were too tall for Canadians, which is probably true. He also asked if we were going to Cancun. Originally, we wanted to, but we just said, decided not to. And he said that's a good idea because it's Gringo Land there. So they call Cancun Gringo Land, where Merida is more of the real Mexican culture. So we're going to show you a lot of that today. Yeah. So far I like it here. The hotel people, the restaurant people, and this guy were all very nice and welcoming. Cado Maya. They closed at 1.30. Oh. Hola, como estas? This looks like a tiny shop. Let's go check it out there, no? Oh, there's not much there. Oh, that's cool. You want to check it out here? Oh, this is sick. Oh, the AC. This is why I'm sick right now. I got sick because of the AC in the bus yesterday and in our Airbnb, so I have a cold. This is so cool. I don't oh, want to touch it, I'll but I want to no touch tocar, it. Don't touch it. No, talk I, I just touched it. <laughs> the wolf is cool. You know what this reminds me of? The masks they were wearing in, in that Korean show, the Battle Royale show where they were like killing each other. I've never seen it. So yeah, you it. did. Squid Games. You know the rich guys who are watching like the last thing? Oh, They're yeah. They're wearing masks like that. Yeah, yeah. Imagine waking up and staring right, right in into these eyes in the morning. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm okay. <laughs> Tripped on. It's all good. I got scared because I thought I would break something, but I didn't. Got some fancy jewelry. Are you going to get anything? No, this is pretty expensive actually. How Look, much? This is 6,500 pesos. Oh, I do not want to spend that much. Do you want to spend that much? No, I don't. You know me, I'm cheap. Oh, look. The Chichen Itza. Why spend $50 on a ticket to Chichen Itza when you can just come to this mercado and look at it from here? Here's the skulls, as you guys can see. A hammock. Shall we grab one back for Canada to set up in the snow? No, I'm good. Make oh, it. the weaving. This is what we saw in Guatemala, remember? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. But like a more... Um, this is a more developed one. Modernized version, instead of doing everything Gracias. by hand. Gracias. Bye. Adios. Oh, that looks nice. Grande Plaza, check it out. Over there. Sneak peek. You're welcome. Statue one. This is pretty cool. That's a booby. One booby. Are you sure? Well, look, it's a woman. Oh, yeah? And I guess that's her flower, her vagina. Wait, what do you. That's her cherry. Or her cherry. That looks more like a flower, no? Yeah, I know, but you know the whole like pop your cherry saying? While Robert's having a sneeze attack, we're gonna head to the park. Oh, yeah, I can cross. What's this called? Plaza Grande. And I think Yucatan is uh, very... I was about to sleep. <laughs> oh, excuse me. 
<laughs> that was an aggressive This is why move. I'm the captain today. Anyway, I think uh, these seats are like very, are known from here, from Yucatan. This is a pretty square, not gonna lie. This, this building nice looks beautiful. Look at these trees. They're well kept. They're very uh, sharp. Do you know what I mean? That's pretty cool, if you ask me. In the late 19th century, Merida had a big economic boom. And the reason why this city is more economically developed than other cities in the region is because of Hennequin. Do you guys know what Hennequin is? Do you? Yeah, it's a plant. Oh, it's a plant. Well, you know, because I just told you. <laughs> Hennequin is a plant. Got to check his cheat sh sheet notes. His cheat sheet. <laughs> it's derived from the agave plant that it comes from this region, from Yucatan mostly and it's used to make uh, twine and rope. That's what it was used for. And that's what gave this city that economic prosperity. It was, it enjoyed and still enjoys. Beautiful Grande Plaza. Lots of pigeons here. I always say the pigeons know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. And the children all chasing them. So we made a little bit of a boo-boo we were flying, or Natalie was flying the drone, and a lovely police officer came and said, you can't fly the drone. But he was very nice. He just said, like, just don't fly it again. This is a restricted area. Yeah. Because this Cathedral de Merida is actually the oldest cathedral in all of the Americas, so the whole continent, which I didn't know. So I thank him for educating us on that, and he even gave us some food recommendations. We're heading to the oldest church in all, all of the Americas. All of the Americas. It's closed. We won't be able to walk in, but we can show you from the outside. It opens, I think, at 5.30. Maybe we'll come back. We'll see. Now, it's been a big case in Latin America that the churches are closed, like, in the middle of the day always. Yeah. Pay phones. Those still exist. Robert, say wow. Wow. Pretty nice. Big. Looks cool. Looks cool from the outside. No idea what this building is, but we're going to find out. This park is really nice, I'm not going to lie. It's a beautiful park. Europa. Does that mean it goes to Europe? Oh. European class. I wonder what that means. Maybe it's just for Europeans. Maybe it's just a more expensive bus ticket. Who knows? Oh. I was going to run, but then I got shook. Wow, this is beautiful. We made it across the street. This is the Contemporary Art Museum. At least that's what it says on Google. It's under construction though. And then this leads to the Parerero Centro shopping mall. It's really pretty. Beautiful. I checked that out a paper airplane with a kid on it. Oh, that's cool. You think I can climb on it for a photo? No. Should we try? So well, you actually can enter the museum. It is open. If we have to pay, we're not going in. <laughs> yeah, because we're cheap. We only like to do free things. <laughs> this is a really pretty door. I'm going to show you guys. Come if on. you're a door lover, hold on to your chairs hold for on, this hold one. Hold on to your socks, as they say. Right? Oh, is it socks? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> wow. He's locking up shop. We missed the museum. It's too bad. I do think they closed down for like an hour and an hour and a half midday. So That's that what they the can, guy said. Yeah, so that they can have lunch or have their fiesta and then resume back to work after that. So you can see this building is still under construction. They're refurbishing it. So that would be the museum. Let's go check it out. Yeah, this is one of the museums. Casa de Montejo. Your friend and said, look at all the statues. They always look depressed. You know what, he's right. They all look depressed. They always all look depressed. Look, like that statue. That's kind of creepy, no? Depressed. Look at that child. It's like a baby. No, depressed. but like up there, those two faces with the mouths open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hola. Mozil is free. Oh, it's free. Okay. 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 Gracias. Okay. Muchas gracias, señora. Oh. Very helpful here. I think we have to sign our name. So this is the Montejo house. They were the conquerors of the Yucatan. Until the bank bought it out. We were told no GoPro, but for you guys. We bring out the cell phone. These are really cool. Look at these models. I could see you building these. I would totally. For fun. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. could see you doing it. 
Is this where you host dinner parties? Welcome to our eighth vacation home. <laughs> and this is our beautiful dining room here in Medina. Ooh. That would be pretty they cool. Had, they had all the servants like standing here at their behest. Well, wait, stand like a servant? Fetch me my water, please. <laughs> I'm the king of the table. So this was the home of the Montejo family, the conquerors of the Yucatan. They did pretty well for themselves, I would say. With like kings and queens. Look at the detail. Here the courtyard. This is where we have a drink. I guess that's the crest. Their family crest. Yeah, it could be. Dude, that's how you know you're rich. When you, you have, have a crest. You have a family crest. Honestly, I find these streets pretty interesting. I feel like they're... I feel like you're in a really, 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 really old, old, old city. Do you know what I mean? It does seem that way, yeah. Uh, I was expecting Merida to be somewhat similar to Mexico City, and it's not. It's different. It's completely different. Definitely not as developed or Modern. modernized. Mexico, in Mexico City's City, very you modern. have these massive banks and some condo buildings, right? It depends where you go. Some nice colonial architecture, I would say. These refurbished buildings. But then right beside you have this. So, you know, it's not all perfect here in Medina either. But it's very safe. We've been told it's the safest city in all of Mexico, apparently. More colonial architecture. I do like seeing this. This is nice. This kind of does remind me a little bit of Guadalajara, like a tiny bit. And look, just like in Canada, they have a Sherwin Williams for your paint, for all your paint's needs. Your feet. Gotta watch my toes. You don't want to get run over, do you? No, I don't. I don't want you to get your toes crushed. I'm feeling it, guys. I'm. Uh, okay, I have rock. a cold, and I'm feeling just tired, fatigued. Bagged. Bagged. Like a brown leather bag. Like a brown leather bag. I'm so bagged, you can just put me down, and I'll stay down. <laughs> what? You'll put me. You'll place me down, and Did I'll you just. Just make that up. Yeah. Right on the spot. Right on the spot. That's actually. One. Not bad, right? Not bad banter. I think I'm getting better. No, no. Like, normally your jokes suck, but this one's pretty good. My jokes are pretty good, I would say. She's just being a hater. I'm the jokester in this relationship. I challenge that. Anyway, here we are in beautiful Parque Santiago, where apparently they'll be doing some dancing tonight. Maybe we'll go salsa ing. I don't know, you might have to go solo, Natalie. I'm feeling pretty tired. <laughs> and here we got another beautiful church. As you can see, lots That's of churches cool. here. A crescent moon. Christianity or Catholicism really took here in Mexico, as it does in all of Latin America. Another beautiful park here. They don't have those chairs though, where you can they sit. They do, right there. Oh, I lied. Look. <laughs> Kids are hilarious. That's a cool, lovely door. It's got some studs on it. Like you. Whoa. <laughs> I'm smooth. Smooth. Oh, smooth no. like butter. Smooth like the sidewalk. Hey, that's not very oh, smooth. Oh, hold on, I got a good one. You're smooth. Smooth like this wall. Feel it. That's not so smooth. This is a nice, vibrant blue. I'm not gonna lie. This is Merida for you. The real streets. The side the media doesn't show you. The dodgy streets. The dodgy solo at the dodgy streets of Merida. <laughs> but not solo. White man solo at the dodgiest streets of Merida. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I thought Merida was gonna be like kind of scary because getting here on the bus, the last 10 minutes I woke up and I was just looking out the window and I saw the streets and they didn't look that nice. Natalie saw, you saw some graffiti and you're like, oh. No, fuck. no, I saw like bars on windows, well, that's... garbage everywhere. I think we were more in the uh, uh, downtown. Maybe it was a sketchier area, who knows. So already from last night, I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm not a city person to begin with, so. 
Yeah. I do like this city though. It's it's nice so far. And I have a friend actually from Canada. His name is Frank. You have friends? Sometimes. Anyway, he uh, he's from here. He's from Merida. He's Mexican. And he lives in Canada. And he was like, oh, it's really, really hot. So like I would say it is quite, it's pretty hot. It's like humid. But there's a nice breeze today at least. But I would say Valladolid is way more hot. There yeah. it's like the humidity really hits you. Here it's, I guess, because we're closer to the ocean. Not by that much, but like it's closer. I guess the breeze comes in. Yeah. It's still humid here though. And I can imagine in the summer. It's still very like hot. In June, July, August, it probably gets like really bad. I still don't understand how locals wear pants. Yeah, I don't get And jackets. Yeah. Some of them wear jackets. Yeah, I'm sweating in shorts and t-shirt and I'm sick and I'm sweating. Like I have a cold. Oh, that smells good. Why don't you show it? Oh, sorry. We stopped by a flower shop. Are you going to buy me some? No, no. You have to buy me some. Ah, I owe you flowers like all the I love flower shops. They smell so nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, bus. that thing is like... Uh, that bus has seen some days. It's coming apart. It's got kilometers on it, that's for sure. Da, 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 da. And the grand reveal. So Parque de San Juan, I think right here is the Arque de San Juan. Okay, let's go. Zero tourists, I like yeah. that. I think this is one of the famous pictures on... No, probably not. It could be. I was going to say online. It looks look cool. It could be. Here, check it out. Beautiful church. It's locked. Every church is closed here. There's lots of vendors on this tree. You can grab some food. The one guy was setting up. Honestly, it looked like it had... They had like really good salsa mix. It looked, it looked delicious. But Robert and his stomach. I never had problems. He in gets Mexico. scared Let's see where eating we're off right. of street carts. Honestly, because Guatemala. He gets food poisoning, food poisoning quite twice. often. El Salvador food poisoning again. Thailand food poisoning twice. And here's a little park. If you want to come hang out with your kids, or if you're just big kids like us, you can. Those swings are quite high. Look at them. They're for babies. Yeah, no, no shit, but like, you think it would be lower for safety reasons, no? No, no. They don't the even have like a thing to buckle yourself in. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be as soft as in North America. You know, you put the kids a little bit at risk, I think. I don't know. They're a bit... People here are still alive, no? The children I've seen, I haven't seen any children die. These teeter-totters? <laughs> Jeez, that would hurt. I remember doing that once with this guy. And because he's so heavy, I just stayed up until he stepped off. That would hurt. Look, your ass would smash right on the ground. I would break it. And here is an arc that reminds me of the arc in Antigua, which is in Guatemala. Guatemala. Look how cute this street is. It's got little lights everywhere. We finally encountered some cobblestone. I'm sure at nighttime. Oh, I want to walk on it. I'm sure at nighttime this street is glowing and looks very pretty. Yeah, for sure. I like it here so far. It's all right. It's a nice city, in my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own. That's just mine. It's just another city. It's just another city. I want to be in a small town, Mer. I want to be right on the beach. <laughs> I love small towns. I love towns where there's an ocean nearby. That's just what I like personally. Cities, I feel like you're just breathing in smog the entire time. It's loud, noisy. I'm kind of tired. My feet hurt. We've been walking around a lot the past few days. What do you say? The one thing. I need a break. The one thing that I don't like about traveling is you lose working out. If you're traveling all the time, yeah. it's hard to stay consistent in the gym because a lot of times there's no gym around you or you get you get there late and yeah. it's just it's not feasible to work out or you get sick like i just got sick like these things all happen right so that like it's hard to it's like a constant battle in my head because i want to keep working out i want to stay in shape but at least 
while it's traveling you could walk and you could bike like we've been doing so at least we're not doing nothing <laughs> you know what i mean true check it out you can get a horse carriage right here oh like was that a pony no that was definitely that was, a horse that was a horse yeah it looked like not a big one though maybe it's a smaller horse did you guys ever think because i used to think that a pony grows into a horse i used to think that I thought a pony was once a horse, or once a baby horse, and grew into a horse. But no, it's just a pony. That's my two cents. So as you can see, abandoned houses, then a nice house, then a house that looks like it got burnt down. The wealth gap is also quite prevalent here. Like, is this a, this looks abandoned, yeah, this is abandoned. Yeah, even the car. Like at one point, it looked like it was a nice house. And now I kind of want to go creep inside of it. I don't want to go in in. Yeah, there's a light on in there. Maybe someone lives there. Maybe squatters or something. Yeah. It's pretty poor here. Yeah, it is. Isn't this the city where all the cartels live? The children of the cartel owners. So, apparently. The but owners of the children of the cartel? Say there's somebody who runs a cartel. Their children. Yeah. Apparently, this is what I was told. Which means they would also live there, no? No, they might. I don't know if they live here. Kids, apparently. This is what I, I was told. So why would they dip from their kids? I don't know. But if the cartels live here, I don't know. I wouldn't classify it as a safe city. Apparently it's very safe. Like you could, even other tourists, remember that lady we spoke with mm -hmm. from Latvia? She said it's like the taxi driver said you could come here drunk at night and you could be completely demolished and you're fine. Apparently. Taxi I don't recommend trying it, but no, neither do I. If it just so happens, I don't, I don't recommend doing that in your own city. Don't do that. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, BC. Want to rent? Yeah, I'd be down. Oh, I'm not down. Let's just walk. Man. I don't want to pay, but also I just like walking sometimes. My feet hurt. I'm cheap, so I walk. You know what I love about Latin America? This. I love when the trees grow, the roots come up, and then it pops out the concrete out of the ground. It's kind of hilarious. See these kids? They were playing in the park, guns, and uh, they were alone. Fake, with fake, toy, fake, toy, fake toy guns, obviously, not real ones. But uh, they're alone, and they're alone now. And it's safe for them. It's fine. Their parents let them out. In Toronto, you can't do this. Like, people are so scared for their kids. It's safer, it seems like it's safer here in Merida, and Mexico, where people think it's so dangerous. People let their own children out, and they're fine. And in Toronto, people don't let their own kids out. And if they do, there are parts of Toronto, like in the downtown area, where there's like homeless encampments, and people shooting up heroin, smoking crack, smoking meth, doing all sorts of crazy shit. And there's jungle gyms with children. And like even a, my sister's friend, she, uh, one of her, she, she has a kid, and they live around the Queen Street area, I think. And there's a, there's a children's park there, and her kid was playing in the park, and then she noticed there was a needle, like on the ground, this way. And then she just stopped going to that park with her kid, and it's right down the street from her house. But these kids here in Merida, and Mexico, where everyone thinks it's so dangerous, are completely fine playing in the park barefoot and alone without their parents. So, go figure, right? Like, listen, that not everywhere is completely nice here and beautiful, and it's not perfect. Of course it isn't. But I'm just saying, it's it's safe here. People think it's not safe because the cartels and because the media and how it depicts it here, but that's not true. Like, just come here and see for yourself, honestly. Check out this uh, advertisement for the newspapers. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, duty bags. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's funny. You, you could go get. You could go get Playboy. Hey, if the internet goes down, go to the duty bags. But if you have a young, if you have a 15-year-old son, the pages might stick together. Ew. <laughs> Is that what happened to you? No. Let's not get into that. Subject change. Check out this bus. <laughs> I know some of your secrets. 
Should I spill them on camera? Should Natalie spill the beans? No, we'll keep that a secret. I'll feel bad if I tell everyone. <laughs> we are at the Benedito Mercado. This looks pretty big. You know that market, remember in Guatemala, that they claimed was the biggest market in Latin America? Yeah. I, I so doubt that. Same. Because like, look at this building. This looks already bigger. It's probably multiple yeah, levels. That, who knows how many blocks that went for? That was big, yeah. It's a big market too, man. Wow, it's huge. I wonder how many vendors are here. Oh, they have mango. We don't have a knife. Yeah, we don't have a knife at the hotel. Yeah, that's the issue with hotels. You got no cover. At least at Airbnbs, you can cut stuff up. Oh, these little radios. Nice. I like it. Oh, we got some knives. You should grab a machete. A machete? 105 pesos. Not bad. So For the amount of coconuts I've bought. So, yeah. Well, they have grapefruit, not orange. Quanto por eso? 25. 25. Okay. Let's go work. Quanto por este? 25. 25. Same. The same? Okay. Okay. Por si no es cambio. Es que quiere picante. No, no. No, no. Solo grapefruit. Okay, the oranges because I'm sick. Gracias. Gracias. So guys, oranges, grapefruit mm. for 50 pesos. That's not bad. That's a good price. Coco. Yeah. Is it Does it have liquid in it though? Tienes liquid? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, dos. Uh, no. Oh, can this uh, cambio? Okay. See, that's all I had. It's uh, 30, so it'll be 470, 470 back. And we got some jewelry here. You can get coconuts and then jewelry. <laughs> different coconuts and he's cutting it with like a hook blade yeah for 80 pesos so just under 100 pesos we have a lot of fruit and coconuts if you go to these places in tulum or something you get like you pay for one coconut for all, what we paid for all of this mexico can be cheap it just depends where you go it depends where you look and me personally i like having these experiences more again potentially an ever-ending market <laughs> The Latin American markets are hilarious. Well, you got cooking equipment or cooking stuff. You also have cages for birds. And then you have birds there that you can buy. Want to see the bunnies and the chickens? Oh, man. And then the chicks. All right, want to go? Of course they're trying to escape. They're trapped in a cage, but that's life. I'm assuming a lot of people will come here to grocery shop because like when we're in the grocery stores, it's not that cheap here, to be honest. Like here it actually is much cheaper. So people probably grow this themselves and they'll sell it in these bazaars, these markets. And this is honestly probably definitely better anyway. Like look at it more natural i don't think they sprayed so much with pesticides and everything there's a lot of these uh bikes they're like motorcycles but they're also like half motorcycle half pickup truck it's kind of funny like that one over there oh. yeah the dust too because you're natalie wears contacts so the dust will get into her eyes which is shitty i'm wondering if these buildings are abandoned they look like these them. ones here do they look like it? Yeah. Like a lot of buildings look abandoned here, to be honest. Yeah, this one over here. Maybe even this one. This one too. Yeah. It honestly, from an outsider's perspective, I could be completely wrong because I've been told like the economy here is pretty good in comparison to other cities in Mexico. But like it looks like it at one point it was better than it is now today. Like it looks like it's kind of getting yeah. worse. Then you got this building, and then you got this building. So it's like... Sure this is our hotel, no? No, 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 ours is a bit further. Oh. Eclipse is there. And then you got these big hotels there. 
Five stars, so it says on the building. Who knows if that's the reality? <laughs> but like, it's strange to see the despair, or like the difference. Like, look, this building is like it looks. It's it's abandoned. It looks abandoned. Yeah, it's bricked up in front of the doors. And then this one is like this one's also abandoned. You have grass growing out of there. And then you have this beautiful yellow hotel. So here's our hotel, a Hotel Eclipse. This place looked a lot better in the pictures. <laughs> like this place still isn't bad. It's just they don't clean it, honestly. Yeah. They don't clean it at all. They'll clean the sheets and the towels. But that's about it. But honestly, we can't complain because we paid 128 Canadian dollars for three nights. So it's cheap. <laughs> We can't expect first class service, you know? And then you have beautiful Merida. It does look like the city is in the decline and it is in a way decaying. It's still very nice. I still like it. The people are extremely nice. The nicest we've encountered in Mexico so far. Now, let's show you our room. Our vacation home number... Nine. Nine. These are the rooms. Maybe they cleaned up. Oh, they clean the floor too. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice stain. Some wine. And then this is our beautiful view of the pool. The pool looks cleaner from up here than it is down there. <laughs> but hey, not bad for 128 bucks. That's like not even. That's like 40 bucks a night. So literally. Anyway. We got new towels. Yeah, we got new towels and they look cleaner. Mine looks dirtier. So yeah, this is my bed. That's Natalie's bed. My We're not sharing a bed these these last two nights because I'm sick. I don't want to get Natalie even more sick than I have to. That's day one. We'll catch you tomorrow in the market. Good night. I did say good night, but here's a travel hack or just a life hack in general. To you spilled water over the floor to boost your immune system take some garlic i don't have a knife so i just gotta chew it normally he's an lb and oh. cuts it up in small pieces to swallow but oh hey guys all right here's garlic i love garlic but i'm gonna stink did you wash the garlic i did yeah i'm a little bitch and here's ginger i feel like you're putting bacterial water onto something no no that's i good. use this water oh okay and then here's ginger so hopefully this will help me tonight we also bought the oranges i'm not gonna show it because i don't want to drop it hopefully tomorrow i won't feel so shitty we'll see cheers and hopefully you don't pass on this dumb cold to me day two here in merida and natalie it's not feeling so good. The tables have turned where I'm feeling good. Natalie is feeling shitty, unfortunately. But we've arrived here in Parque de Santa Lucia. And here are these huge chairs. No, no, gracias, gracias. No, no, gracias. You want to take a seat? Yeah. You think you could make it up? I think you can with this. Natalie's moving slowly today. We're thinking, or she's thinking, that she might have gotten malaria here, which I fully doubt. She had a couple of mosquito bites on her finger and she's like, I think I have malaria. I was vomiting all night. How many times do you vomit? Like three separate, like going to the bathroom to puke. Yeah? I still think she'd be in worse shape if she had malaria, honestly. We did eat, oh, this isn't even concrete. Well, you can move it, look. Yeah, please. All right, let's see if I can get up here on this side. I can. I but then I can't see body. Natalie. We can't see each other. We're locked away. No. I would recommend checking these out. This is cool. And I guess Yucatan is famous for these, uh, for these chairs. Beautiful park here. And apparently they do have dancing here. So there's actually some... There's some seats here, like bleachers you could you could call them. And then people do dance in that park. Apparently at, in the evening, at nighttime, they dance. Guys, 
I did this to Natalie. It was all my fault. I was in my own world, living my best life. And then totally I have to get sick from the AC. And then you that and over complete. And then I get it always, always worse, worse than you. Yeah, oh, dancing, yeah, oh, salsa. No, it's the only day, it's the only night where the ballet folkloric of the state of Yucatan right there wearing the traditional custom from Yucatan oh, and they okay. make a celebration It's part of our tradition uh, they, well, they will be doing this festival 60 years ago every Thursday it was being cancelled for two years for the COVID but now they started doing it again now they start doing it again oh, actually, cool. actually to have an idea even the local people who come here they're gonna wear those customs the ladies wearing those beautiful dresses with many flowers with the shawl beautiful necklaces and the gentleman wear those white shirts and white pants and sandals and they wear the complement the hat okay look at that is famous for the for the famous hats that we call it panama hats and what about these uh chairs those this, ones, those that's famous we, for yucatan right those ones we call it the confidence or many people know it like the seat of lovers oh okay yeah so actually it's a symbol of the city because yucatan merida uh, the downtown all the downtown I used to be painted in white completely, mm -hmm. so they name it the White City. The White oh. City, because the buildings? Yeah, the yeah. buildings, but at the, at the actuality, the only thing still painted in white is those chairs. And oh. you're going to find in all the parks, yeah, yeah. and only in the cities, not in the towns. For example, uh, you're going to find, you can find it in Isamal, oh. you can find it in Tizimin, you can find it in Uman, you can find it in Tukul, and you can find it in Merida. And Valladolid, too. In Valladolid, as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, we're from Canada. Ontario, Alberto, Toronto, British Columbia, Saskatchewan, Toronto, Iowa. Toronto, you got Toronto it. Toronto is the home of the Raptors and the Maple Leafs. Yes, oh, you know so a lot, nice. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the Blue Jays. Blue Jays, yeah, Your baseball. English yeah. Is really good. You speak uh, English very little, well. A little bit. I'm, I'm learned because many years ago, I used to work in tourist information. Okay. Now I work in a, in a hotel, in a reception, so I'm practicing every day my English, so that's why I learned. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah. good. But if you like to take beautiful pictures, you should walk three blocks that way. Yeah. Then you're going to find the downtown, the four buildings more important to visit. Yeah, Grande Plaza, yeah, everything. Grand Plaza. We were there yesterday. Were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The cathedral that we have here, my friend, is the oldest cathedral in whole Latin and North America, is this one. The oldest, It's, it's yeah. just one much older than this one, but it's not in Mexico. It's in Santo Domingo, near of Cuba. Ah, okay. So it's the first in, one. In that Dominican one, this Republic. Is, this yeah. is the second one. Okay. That gentleman you, uh, I just showed that I was filming, his name is Alvaro, like a good friend of mine. My a friend, my friend is named Alvaro, and uh, they're call, they call them when it's two, two people that have the same name. They call it a uh, tocayo, right? Yeah. Tocayo. So for anybody in the audience who's Mexican or my friend is Peruvian, you probably know that term. I didn't. Tocayo. So for anybody who's a whitey like me and Natalie, that's some knowledge dropped. <laughs> <I'm offended. laughs> aquí es uh, Hacienda Cisal, ¿sí? Ah, hasta acá. Derecha aquí, ¿no? Ah, Azul. 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 Okay. Gracias, gracias. I'm getting compliments on my Spanish. And back there, there was uh, Iglesia Jesus, and I don't remember the rest of the words that he said. <laughs> did you? Did you catch it? What do you think? Of course not. Natalie never catches anything. I'm in really rough shape. Right also now. that too. Hacienda Cisal. So this was the right place in the beginning, right? Or no? Hello. Gracias, gracias. Adelante. Right. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Let's you know, go. Smart. They're like touch under your own wrist. It makes you not want to touch it. What did he say? Whereas it says touch under your own wrist. It makes you not want to touch it. Oh, okay. But when it says you want to touch, then you want to touch. touch. So touch at your own wrist. Yeah, that's not bad. Because if you break it, you're paying for it. But here it says please do not touch. Yeah. So come to Hacienda Cisal. We just learned this of a guy we spoke to on the street. Always talk to the local people. You'll get the best information. Hola amigo, hola, bienvenido. Hola. Gracias, gracias. So here's more textiles and it's all made by Hennekin. So we couldn't, we couldn't get up to this upstairs. Apparently it was closed, but each hammock, like a sitting hammock, they wanted uh, 29.50 pesos. But he said it takes about, he said two weeks, right? Three weeks. So three weeks to actually make it. And then the, uh, there's a stronger hammock out of Cecil and cotton. He 
said that's the most comfortable that way as well. But he said those those take one month to make, and those are 3,100 pesos. Here is the Teatro Daniel Ayala for the. No, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it to Spanish in this one. This is nice, no? Beautiful building. The white city, as they call it. And they're they're improving it. They're gonna have nice cobblestone or more like interlocking brick. And here again is the oldest cathedral in all of the Americas. Apparently, in Santo Domingo, in Dominican, it's a little bit older than this, but this is still considered the oldest in all of the Americas. Here in Merida, Catedral de Merida. Hey guys. Look what one cookie will do. The entire flock of pigeons will come. There was literally one cookie, like one. They were fighting, three of them were fighting over it. And now we got a surplus of pigeons here. Okay guys, welcome to Monumento La Patria. As you can see over there, this looks beautiful. I know it's something major to see here. And uh, I couldn't let Natalie miss it, even though she's not feeling too well. And this neighborhood honestly already looks like very upscale, very nice neighborhood. Beautiful. So, Monumento La Patria, the historical significance of this beautiful monument is actually, it symbolizes the country's independence and cultural identity and the amount that people gave up for this country's sovereignty and what the ultimate price people paid here. And it's nice how there is the Mayan sculptures here. Beautiful. It's big too. So another thing about this monument, it was actually completed in 1956 and it commemorates the key moments and figures in Mexican history, including the War of Independence and the important national heroes. So this really represents just, you know, the, the identity of the country of Mexico. Beautiful. And of course, not far from the tourist attraction, there's a McDonald's. But this is a nice neighborhood. Yeah, is. Very beautiful. Nicest we've seen so far, I would, I, like say, I would say, in the Merida. This kind of reminds me of Mexico City a little bit. It's the big sidewalks and trees everywhere. Oh, we got some nice restaurants over there. I wonder if, I guess this is a hotel, no? Victoria Hotel. Whose house is this? Is it yours? Vacation home number 10. It looks like it's owned by Santander. That's actually a Spanish bank, but they're very popular all over Latin America. I guess the banks just buy up all of the old colonial homes and they just own everything that's really, truly has intrinsic value. Yerba Santa Marina. Wow, this is beautiful. Holy shit. Check it out. Banco de Mexico. So this could be one of, maybe the central bank is located here, but I, you would think it's in Mexico City. It probably is, honestly. This could be just another one. Another one of their branches. If you guys can see, there's a green truck. I don't want to make it too obvious, but they're actually going to drive past us. Right here. Yeah, this is pretty common in Mexico huge trucks like that and then they have guys a lot of the time the guns are they have like anti-aircraft guns on it that are mounted this guy just had like a still a pretty big machine gun so that's pretty normal if you do come here to mexico this you see more frequently than other parts of latin america and here is the museo regional de antropologia palicio canton canton caton caton I keep mispronouncing it. So, the Anthropology Museum. Yeah. Like, it looks beautiful from the outside, but when you look closely, like, the painting is chipping, and there's, like, paper on the windows. Yeah, it's strange. Some beautiful colonial architecture here, too. Yeah, I love this old architecture. It's so nice. You don't, you don't have this in North America. You do a little, but not, like, to this extent. Welcome to Parque de Santa Ana, our final park. It looks like it's shut down. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody here. You there's think no there, water. You think there'd be more people? 
Oh, look, it's blue. It does look like there is water. Not really, no. <laughs> no, not really. Nice try. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, here it is. As you can see, Merida, the white city, as they call it. Full of parks. Full of parks. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to end off the video here. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.